All right, what's up? I'm X Factor. This is Minecraft, and it is currently nighttime here in my world. Uh, you want to know how I know that? Is these lights right up here and back there? I mentioned doing this earlier, and I decided to do it. Uh, let's just go go over to the house here and have a sleep, and we'll check this out. And I gotta get through the damn door. Still not textured, right? Have a sleep with the Ender Wither Skulls watching me. And I do have three. I just have yet to fight the Wither. Because I have no place for a beacon or anything. God damn it, doors are giving me a hard time. Okay, you'll see those stairs up there. Just ignore them. That's a future project. Something I'm working on on my own because it's rather boring. Just a beacon room. And yeah, so these lights are on now. Um, if you want to... Do I have Ender Pearls? I do. Okay, see if I can sort of a needle to thread here if I can get up there come on I make it yes I made it I have no feather falling boots so I kind of have to make it uh, this wire I did this completely wrong to be honest this wire goes all the way up uh, this is a really long wire spirals down it's extended by some torches and then just comes down and hooks up to these lights I'll go up to the surface Oh, damn. Well, I'll replace that later. Oh, I have stone. Okay. Um, can I reach it? Yeah. Okay. Let's go up to the surface and we'll see where it comes out. It's nothing special, to be honest. I'll just show off a hole in the ground and I think that's all that's new up here, other than maybe some trees because I've been collecting wood. Uh, nothing new in the village. This clock is functioning great. I changed it a little bit. Where does it come out? It comes out over down here, I think. And to be honest, this is rather interesting because I had no idea relative on the surface where my storage room was. I never really checked it out. But I think this is right over here. So just cover that up with glass. And there's our daylight detector. That goes down. Uh, how it works is there's a wire underneath and then that is an upside down half slab for another wire. So yeah, there you go. Now today we're going to do something again with the new items is I'm going to work on the final bit of the wool collection room or the wool collection bit of the sheep farm. Uh, so we're going to be using hoppers and minecarts and yeah. I had a couple ways to do it to be honest. Uh, the one I really liked was just putting stuff into hoppers and then having a minecart that sort of looped around. It was a bit more complicated than it really needed to be, but it was really cool to watch it work. But uh, I've already sort of got all, well, I've already got all the items to collect to one point. So this room's going to be really annoying to be in. All the items already collect to one point, so we might as well take advantage of this. Uh, I'm going to turn my sound way down. Hopefully that's quiet enough. And I just, I forgot signs, so I'm gonna go grab a couple. Apologize for jumping, it really seems to get me through quicker. So yeah, um, we're gonna just use this existing funnel to have items go down. I don't have very many signs. Uh, use jungle wood for this. Uh, yeah. When the items collect, they'll just go into hoppers, and then the hoppers will put items into minecarts when the hoppers are... Uh, hoppers are empty. They will allow the minecart to leave, and if, if the helpers have any items in them whatsoever, the minecart will stay under. So we're going to work on that. I'll probably only do one section, or two sections, because it's just going to be the same thing over and over again. I'll do the bottom, and then I'll do the top later, is what I'll do, I think. So yeah. I'm going to keep each segment separate, although I don't really have to. It's just easier uh, with the plan I have to... With the many plans I had, like certain ones would allow for different levels to be in use, but this one is just... Uh, whoops. Oh, that's weird. And I don't think I want ice. Or do I? Yeah, I do. Okay, so that's going to allow items to slide down right onto this hopper and get sucked up. That's exactly what I want. 
Now we gotta get under this hopper with rails and come back up into here. I was sort of debating if I wanted this cart to go this way or this way. I think what I'm gonna do is, this is gonna be our launcher rail. If I go this way, either way we're gonna have sandstone here so we can see. If I go this way, minecart's gonna be there, we're gonna have a half slab covering that. Okay, so it's gotta go this way, otherwise we're gonna be covering this lamp. Easy peasy. There we go, problem solved. Um, now though, so what I can do is fill that in, like that. I'm gonna have to move this wire. Well, as much as I can. I think I might bridge it this way. So this minecart is gonna come down. And I'm running low on powered rails because I've been running, running a lot of rail in the nether. I've almost got everything railed up. I just need to get to the Mushroom Island. But that's almost that's almost way too much to worry about right now. Okay. Okay. It's a little bit more rail than I wanted in terms of going down. But if that's how it's going to work, that's how it's going to work. Let's get some levers. And power in here and down here like that we're gonna do that and then this is gonna go right like that so what I've done or what I've sort of come up with is a little nook for in here we need a block right here to stop the item so I have to put that back in but with a comparator if we put this next to here like this. If there's even one item in the hopper, the, hop the comparator will output a signal. What I'm gonna do is harness this with a torch and just come down to this rail. When there's no items, oh, right, I have to, have to point it like that. There we go. So if there's no items, this rail will be powered and the minecart will just bounce right back. If there's even a single item in there, that'll be unpowered, and because of these booster tracks, I didn't originally have the slope, but it works out. Uh, these booster tracks will push it and right against this back block. So there's one item in there right now. So if I put this minecart there, it's gonna take that item and go right back up. And that's exactly what I want. So that's gonna work out. That's gonna work out perfect. And I think I might be able to hide everything in here quite well. So if we do that, and obviously it's going to be like that, I can still sort of see back there. I think I might, I don't have a crafting bench back here, do I? Do I? I thought I did. No, I guess not. There's one just outside. I think I might be able to sneak it past a upside down stair. Uh, no, I guess I don't. Oh. No, I've had these things everywhere. There's one over here? Yes. Okay, so make some stairs. And some half slabs. Okay. Like so. And go back and I think this can go over top of the rail and then the minecart will still be able to go through god you guys are so annoying I mean that looks okay we're gonna have to finagle the wires around here to think if that goes like that that might right like that Does that work? I can still see through. 
We'll see if the minecart goes down and comes back up. No, won't go down. Okay, I think it'll come back up, though. That's okay. You know what? I'm not even going to worry about it. What I'll do is I'll just block this off like so. Uh, this one might be like that. Not very many ender pearls left. Ah! Gotta go back to the end. And just because I can see back there, I'll sort of try to continue. Oh, I crashed. Alright, I'll be right back. So, as I was saying, I'll just be able to... Oh, damn. That didn't work either. Okay, I think everything needs to be clear. Direct. So this was the stair right here, really? Oh, because that inter... Okay, okay. <clears throat> that won't work. So that won't let the cart through, will it? No. So it needs to be above here. That's okay. That's okay. And the same thing holds true right here. I think... Oh, that'll work because this isn't sloped. Okay. So, that's not bad. I mean, I'm not really going to be looking down there anyway. So, yeah. That's good. So that is actually fully functional. You just need to wire things back up. I keep knocking that. So this is I think this is pretty easy. Just that won't interfere with anything, I don't think. So repeater. How did I not grab repeaters? Ah oh, jeez. Three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, I hope that works. There's only one way to really test. So that's testing the down and back up. Okay, that's fine. And I gotta test all the water. Jeez. Always a bit of lag. Okay, that worked. Alright, everything's good. And cue the lag. There we go. That's why I have no problem with putting repeaters in. Is it sort of offsets some of the lag a bit. Okay. Like that. Like that. And like that. Alright, so that is fully functional. That will go down, get our wool, and come back. It's not exactly what I wanted originally, but I think that's the easiest way to do it. So we're going to mimic this here. Maybe a little different, I think. Because I come up with another idea just in the meantime. And I'm not sure why I didn't do this. Is I can really just put a sign there. Stop the water. Stop the water. I gotta get used to this clicking. Like, it's sort of better putting items up, but switching items now is kind of a pain. Anyway. So, this path here... Does this have silk touch? No, I don't have silk touch. Oh well. I can still get ice. It's pretty easy. Okay, so we're in a cave here. Jeez. I have not explored this cave. Alright, uh, yeah. This one is just, just gonna be straight. We'll get the hopper. Come back like that. Powered rail. And I'm just gonna do one ramp. This is gonna go again. One block out, and then straight down. This one I sorta finagled to avoid this wire. That was the only reason. But, well, I guess it could have worked. Oh well. I may change it. Not that anything else is going in here. <sighs> okay, so. Uh, smooth stone. Straight down. Two here. There we go. One, two, three, four. This should still give it enough speed to 
get the job done. And there we go. Connected. Wire this thing all up. So we get a comparator. Comparator in there with a repeater or with a torch. Mine out all this gravel. Did I? There's a cave back there. There's light back here, isn't there? Oh yeah. Nothing. Nothing big. Just the upper bit. Okay. Uh, oh jeez. God, I hate gravel when you're trying to build things. I like, I can see it having a function for some things, but I, yeah, yeah. Anyway. Okay. Like that, and like that. I can actually fully encase that, but it doesn't really matter. So there's one item in there, it turns off. Okay, that works. There we go, now we enclose all this. So we take... God damn! And like this, that comes up like that. Like so. I don't know why, but that's how it has to be, so we do that. And that. And this. And that. And that. There we go, that's the same, right? Looks the same. Plus that. Now we test the function. And get a button. Down it goes. And up it comes. Let's see if I can't get an item down there. Can I? There we go. So one, two sandstone. Expecting two sandstone to come back here. It's gonna go. Nope, it's taking more time. Two sandstone, beautiful. All right, everything works. That was easy. Now, the same thing is gonna be replicated up here. I might just tuck it into these corners. This one... Oh, no. No, 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 never mind. I forgot about that. I forgot about that. This is this room's done. Because these carts will get eight wool, which is why I couldn't use hopper carts to pick up items. Because we had more than five different items. Okay. Awesome, that's done. Oh, I could have... I didn't even think of that. Because I kind of wanted these chests to be up here. But, oh well. I'm not going to move it. Hmm. Awesome. Well, I'm going to check the episode time, because I don't really feel like that took that long. Alright, I still got a bit more time. So what I think I'm going to do is... One, count out loud, briefly. But we're up here in the room I've set aside for beacons. And this sort of chandelier thing is will eventually be my beacons but I don't have nearly enough iron this four stacks plus 20 is all the iron blocks I need I think if I calculated that right to get the full five beacons working I'm gonna double check eventually but I figured I'd play around with some wall patterns because I had a couple ideas and I definitely wanted to use this quartz block because it seems very temple-y to me if that makes any sense if that's a word. It may involve resizing the room, which is why I wanted to do it before putting anything in here officially. So I'm going to mine out a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. The whole room I think is going to be 7 high. So that's, and I want to make it a square and outline everything in stone brick just as an initial block. This is what I have going in my head right now. That leaves us a 5x5 five five area in the back and I'm just gonna fill this in with cobble so it's easier to work on. And I'm gonna use this pillar quartz and how this is gonna work is like this and then everywhere this intersects, I'm going to put a pillar or a chiseled block and then like that, continue those and then in the middle, redstone and then I was thinking about these edges, I had a couple thoughts 
one of one I don't have on me. So is that's the obvious answer. And then well maybe that gets recessed one block. Ooh, let's try that. Let's pick that up. And then whoops. Recess it one block. Yeah, I don't really like that. If that was a light, that would be okay. Or if it matched. Is that going to fall down? Yeah. I get that. Come to me. Come to me, redstone block. There we go. I love these blocks. That's why I want to use them. Oh, I don't really know about just like a dot in the middle. So that's that. I was also thinking about lapis instead of the like that and like this in the middle because that looks kind of cool and then I could put these in the corners too I do like lapis and I do like redstone here we go and then maybe whoa what the hell okay that's interesting can I not pick that up? What about plus redstone? Whoops. Plus redstone there. And then no marble. It's not overly white. And you still get a full decorative path. That's kind of cool. I like that, actually. What about the other way? So redstone here. I'm trying everything. And I'm going to go back. And look at it. I definitely like this tic-tac-toe pattern. Uh, did I have... Yeah, I'm putting redstone in the corners now. So five redstone blocks per and four lapis blocks. Oop. I think I like that better. And then I could even do... Actually, I should go get some. I was thinking lamps or glowstone in there. 28, 29, 33, 132. I got them all. Okay. Lamps or glowstone right in the middle. That way there's four and four. Let's try that. And this might be what I do. And then I just shape the room to fit. Uh, glowstone. Let's try glowstone and glowstone lamps because they're going to be very different. Oops. I got the... Yeah. You guys gotta get out of here, man. You're not allowed in here. Oh yeah, I also commented about making... Before I forget, I also commented about making this a flat, uh, half slab floor so that slimes wouldn't spawn. But uh, as I found out, this right here in this area is a... Or is it... So we're at zero. Zero, zero. This chunk right here... If we go one, one, two, two, this is a slime chunk. It's either that one or this one. But yeah. So, like, literally the chunk outside of the storage room is a slime chunk. So, I still get slimes in there. It's kind of, kind of annoying. I think lamps are going to look better, to be honest. And then put that there. Hmm. That looks cool. What about glowstone? I don't know. That's actually, it's kind of like rougher and it kind of matches the uh, texture of these blocks. So I don't know. It's going to be interesting. It's going to come down to the wire, I think. But I do like this. The stone border definitely adds a different color to it as opposed to if it was just a full wall of marble. But do I extend this and... That's that's worth another look. I'll extend it one more and see. I can do that pillar thing, or I can extend these like this. Hmm. No, I already don't like it. I don't even have to finish it to say I don't like it. I definitely like breaking it up. Okay, that was easy. 
Well, I know what I'm going to do. Uh, that You've already seen the pattern, so there's no point. I'm going to do this, I think, off camera because there's not much to it other than mining and places. Oh, that's wrong. Uh, I don't think these quartz blocks are right, to be honest. They break really easy with an efficiency pick, like even easier than the ore does. I think... I don't think it's been, like, mentioned as far as I can tell, but it doesn't seem right to me. Let's put a quartz block down. Like, that breaks instantly, whereas that at least takes some time. I don't know. Whatever. Well, if you've made it with me to the end of the video, I'm going to thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.